hey how are you my friends welcome back once again so we have uh, set up our front end now we'll uh, make our back end or admin panel okay so uh, let's do that first of all uh, we'll uh, set up our database okay so first let's create a new database so, so we'll uh, give it name ecom okay and specify that in your dot env file so here database name ecom and your username and password okay so after that uh, we'll make our um, authentication or auth route so so one thing you have to uh, know is uh, here in our uh, controller sorry so app S uh, HTTP and controllers so uh, this is the home controller we have made okay so uh, when we define uh, will uh, when we run command php artisan make auth it will also create a home controller so that will override all of the data okay so i think this home controller name is uh, uh, just reserved for laravel so we'll just change it to uh, let's change it to what so we'll change it to a uh, front controller okay front controller okay so now that is changed we have to uh, do that in our okay so let's just check everything is working or not okay front controller does not exist you know what uh, why that is saying so because we haven't changed it here front controller extends controller all right now everything should work yeah okay so uh, now that we have uh, changed its name now we can run a uh, make auth command okay so let's uh, clear the screen PSP artisan make make auth so that will create all of the scaffolding required for auth authentication okay all right so now that uh, that created this auth routes and home dot blade and layout okay so that's why it is better to call it layout so i call it layout okay so it is making two we'll fix that later okay next we'll define uh, the layout okay for admin like we did for front end okay so here i have uh, the layout for admin okay so inside ecom that will be available for you link will be in description so we'll copy this uh, admin into our views okay so we'll paste it here so let me show what is inside this admin uh, this uh, this contains uh, the layout uh, where there is uh, the basic layout where we, we are including the header uh, side nav and we are pulling in content all right so header and side nav here so side navigation and all the stuffs okay you'll see that in a moment so I have this index.blade file which is extending the layout, admin layout, okay, and we are uh, writing the content here, okay. So after our admin layout uh, is done, uh, all set up, so we'll define the route. So we'll define the group of route, okay, so uh, that will be, we'll prefix it with. Uh, admin okay so all of the route in this group will have the prefix admin also we'll define uh, the middleware middleware and uh, the name of middleware will be yeah auth so that's why it is uh, better to define uh, run command php artisan make auth uh, before you start your project okay because now we have to change all this to front okay that's why it is better to run that so bear that in mind while doing next project okay 
so now we'll define our route mm. so this will be the get and we'll just test it by returning the view so the name of view will be admin index okay so admin this view and we uh, will name this uh, route admin dot index alright so now let's test this in our browser so now if we want uh, try to visit admin alright so uh, this is there because we have not migrated our tables user tables okay so after running php artisan make auth you have to run php artisan migrate all right so now that's it to find yeah so it is uh, directing us to login screen so let's register so after uh, we log in it is uh, redirecting us to home page so we want to change that we want uh, uh, we want this to redirect us to admin page okay <coughs> sorry so i uh, will do uh, do that by changing couple of thing here so let's go to login controller and here we'll change admin and uh, register controller register controller as well we have to change that in register controller as well and last thing in password reset password controller change this home to admin all right okay so uh, now let's test this out okay so let's uh, try to visit admin panel so it is uh, taking us to this page and after we log in it should take us to admin panel so this is the admin panel which we have just set up all right uh, so next uh, what we'll do is mm, okay one thing I want to share with you is in Laravel 5.3 so if we log out so we'll we have to log out by this uh, this uh, route so let's look here okay so slash log out and if we try to log out it will say the uh, method not allowed uh, exception okay so uh, that is because a couple of things are changed okay so to fix that what uh, we have to do is just define a new route we'll override that logout route okay so slash logout should take us to uh, auth and login controller login controller at the, at the rate logout all right so now mm, let's uh, do that again yeah so now that it's uh, working fine okay uh, so uh, that is the quick fix and our admin layout is fixed uh, so I think it is all done yeah so after logging in it should take uh, take us to admin panel okay so after the admin panel is set up we'll define the uh, products okay we'll create the products um, table where we'll be storing the product and uh, we'll make the products uh, dynamic okay so that's uh, that we'll be doing in next video so for now bye